You know, uh, kind of like, uh, you know, eagles in a way a little bit. Yeah. Maybe he's... I, uh, I kind of was thinking about that when we were talking about that earlier today. And I was kind of thinking that, put yourself in his shoes. And he was once at the top of the mountain, right? Right. And finished his career with everyone screaming, what, what, what? Yeah. That's got to be annoying. Well, You're on top of the mountain with the belt. You were this, this top superstar. You were getting all the attention, all the merchandise and sales, everything on you. And then you're going to finish with all kinds of people using you as some kind of laugh? What? Yeah. No, but See you what know, I mean? It's, it's annoying. Well, you know what? That, well, that was his fault. I know. He Who's started fault? it. At the end of the day, whose fault was that? It was. But again, you know what I mean? You gotta, uh, it's, it's hard to say like, what he's going through, what he's thinking. So I, I totally agree with you that he's kind of like, it's hurting us to not see Stone Cold come back if he doesn't want to come help. And it's hurting us for Vince to not call him or do something with him. But again, I mean, do you blame him for not coming either? Well, it just goes to show, I mean, it might, this is my opinion, okay? It might not be everybody else's, but this is the way I'm looking at it, and this is the way it's coming across. You know, maybe somebody that that is going to be a subscriber and make a valid point on something that I'm going to be making right now. I mean, this, right. might, this might be a good one. It's that, in my opinion, I, I think that Stone Cold Steve Austin can care less about the WWE and the fans. Wow. I really do. I don't know. I'm going to have to say no on that one. Because I have not heard anything. And even with some of the, the guys at the show, I, I haven't heard anything about Stone Cold Steve Austin hosting. Nothing. I'm going to have to disagree on that one. I, I really don't think he cares. I don't know. I think he wants to do stuff. I just don't think he know. He knows he can't, and his body won't allow him to. And the problem is he doesn't have to wrestle, though. I mean, that's the thing. He's yeah, stone exactly. Cold but do you want to be the wrestler who's just going to be the laugh of the night, or do you want to be the guy who's going to come there and kick some ass? So well, I don't I mean, think he, he doesn't do care. That. I just think that he's frustrated with the with the position he would have to be. You mean to tell me he can't throw at least a couple punches, a couple of jabs? Who knows? When you get a little bit older, man, your body gets a little weaker, dude. Okay, I understand that he can't take a backdrop. And Lord knows I know he can't take a pile driver. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, he doesn't have to compete to bring ratings and bring viewers back. All he has to do is just promote that he's going to be there and people are going to watch. Trust me. Yeah. Right, let's get back. Let's get back to the show. So, here's Chavo. Well, you know, like I said, he was Triple H. Actually, was making uh, shots at the old, at the old Evolution. Yeah. But then at the end of the day, he said maybe he just needs to make one phone call, and one phone call. And if you're not down with that, he's got two words for you. Stupid. Yeah. You know what? I never liked DX, but it's going to help the ratings. Oh yeah. So this yeah. is gonna this is gonna be good for Raw. They, as hard as it is for me to say it, this is going to be good for Raw. Well, but you but know, I cannot stand the DX thing. Well, no. Okay, well, look. Every time... But it's going to help. Every time Vince is in trouble, he has to call upon DX. But the problem I hate is, why do they always have to break it up and say they're never going to do it again? Why don't they just keep their mouth shut, break it up, and never do it again? And then when it's time to come, you know, then they don't have to be like, oh, my God, well, make it up excuse. You know what I mean? You mean kind of like what Jericho said when he said he'll never be in Raw again and actually he's yes, been... Yes, that kind of stuff is stupid. He's been on Raw more than SmackDown? Lately? Exactly. You see what I mean? They should not open their mouth and say shit like that or say stuff like that and then, you know what I mean? And then come back looking dumb. This is the reason why I don't like DX. Well, the next the next segment was Chavo Guerrero that uh, stopped by to introduce himself to Jeremy Piven and makes a mistake by calling him Joe Rogan. Uh-huh. Does Jeremy Piven look like Joe Rogan? <laughs> Kinda. I. Nah. I mean, I, I know it's kind of funny, but facial hair. That's kind of that's kind of stretching a little bit. Jeremy Piven um, books. Joe Rogan kick kick all their ass. Look at this. Jeremy Piven books Hornswoggle versus Chavo Guerrero number six. And this. I'm is telling the- you, uh, this is bad. I don't know what they are doing with Chavo, but I, I'm expecting for him to leave. Well, yeah. I mean, damn. I mean, I don't know what his contract looks like right now. If it's almost up, is it up? Did he just resign? I don't know what state he's in right now. 
but I don't see him making it a whole year with this feud, man. Do you think maybe they're punishing him because of Vicky? I think so, man. I personally think they are. You think so? And I think it's stupid. You got a guy right now who can give Coffee Kingston a run for his money with that title, and they're going to make him wrestle the Hornswoggle. Yeah, well, actually... Chavo is a great heel. So they, they teased that. The next segment was Carlito versus Primo. Yeah. So, so they went ahead and they had their match. You know what? I I really wasn't into it. You know, it was a great match. I think Primo is great, and I think Carlito's great. They're both good, man. But it wasn't... I don't know. I mean, you know what? it was a lot of build up, a lot of build up, and then it was kind of a letdown. I think this match could be a whole lot better. You know why it's a little letdown? I thought about the same thing while I was watching this match. Because the feud started so fast that there was no real strong heat between the two. I mean, that, yeah, that's too. I mean, that too. There's really not that strong of a heat. It just started really fast, and they kind of just started throwing them against each other, throwing them against each other. Like, they didn't have this real strong build-up to, like, you know, where Carlito was getting jealous or starting to get angry. You know what I mean? Where weeks and weeks and weeks were going by to where you can see something's going to happen. You were anticipating, oh, my God, they're going to break up. It just happened really fast. Well, you know, expect Carlito and Primo to continue this feud through SummerSlam. And I think... But I don't mind that. I think it's great. I, well, I think it's a great match. I think it's a great card. Uh, it hasn't been official yet, but that's definitely a possibility for Carlito. That's, that's a good matchup. Those two got good uh, ring ability, man. They're good. They're well, good I better. mean, if they can keep it airborne, if they can keep it high flying and and very fast pace, I think it's going to be a very good match. If it's a, for some reason, this match in particular last Monday Night Raw, it just something was missing. I don't know. Yeah, it seemed a little weird. Yeah. I mean, it only it only lasted like 3 minutes. Yeah. I'm just hoping to step it up and, and you know, if they go to Summerfest and they just push a little more. And that, that was the thing. I mean, you, you break up uh, you break up another tag team yep. to, to only turn on each other and have a feud with each other for only yep. three minutes? Yeah. See, that's uh, that's the part I don't get, and that's what, uh, maybe what I'm missing. I don't know. It just seemed really – it was out of place for it. Maybe you, that was a tag team right there, gone. Chavo Grill – was coming out to go against Hornswoggle, but Jeremy Poon comes out, makes an announcement that he was going to fight Hornswoggle's cousin, which was Mark Henry. But he didn't call him Mark Henry. He called him, what was it, Mark Swoggle? Mark Swoggle. Yeah, Mark Swoggle, he called him. Where is the boo button right now? Oh, I'm going to make a button bar, I swear. Dude, WWE.com had a poll stating... What was the most surprising moment on Raw? That should have been it. And people picked something else. You know what I mean? I was so surprised when I saw that. I was like, here was a guy who I've been saying should have been coming to Raw, finally came to Raw, and of course they didn't use him as a heel, but they used him as a face, and they made him do that? Come on, man. Yeah. Well, they made him come out with a, a red jumpsuit on with a green little small hat on waving to the crowds kind of looking like big show a little bit he just took big show's place but and he, mark henry's way better than that man but mark henry Henry's better than that you know what he's he's a good heel you know i i think i i would like him to see more of a heel than a face only yeah. because look at look what they're doing to the guys being the face right now you know it's any, not worth being the face right now you know if anybody that should be wrestling with hornswoggle right now it should be john cena <laughs> I swear to God. That how many, would actually be good, man. How you many have all the kids watching. How many times are they going to have the same match? It's the same three people. It's Orton, Triple H, or John Cena. How many times are they going to throw that in their faces? And they wonder why the ratings are low. It's yeah. because they, we see this match every week. I don't mind the Orton and Triple H. But the Cena thing right now, I'm kind of... I got to say it, anti-Cena right now. Just because they're rebuilding his character. They don't know what to do with him. People don't want to see him. I'm, I'm telling you what. I'm not on Cena's train at all until I see him go heel. He's got to go heel. He's got to go heel. 